It's time! It's time! It's Jam Dummy Time! Neeser, can you hear me? Respond back to me, Neeser. It's important I hear you say it. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. That's all I needed. So here's what I can tell you about the heart counter or whatever. Um, the more you interact, the more you respond to the chat, the longer you listen to the show and stuff like that, the heart counter goes up. It's kind of like a fan count thing. Like the higher the number, the more like interactive and more of a fan you are of the show. That's the best way to describe it. Um, I don't think it really means much else. So yeah. So right now you're at a 92 where cage is at a 31. So technically you're three times the fan of mine than he is. So congrats. Okay. <clears throat> 31 is sexy. 31 is weak, bro. I don't know why is 31 sexy? Is that like a number to a hockey player or something? I go number 31 is Pat Pasinski from fucking Philadelphia Flyers or some goofy shit. I don't know. Pat Pasinski, though, does sound like a hockey player's name. I'm just throwing that out there. So, Philly blows. Philly is like like one step below the greatest hockey team in the world, which I believe is, uh, is it Detroit? The Pistons? Nah, I can't. Who the fuck? Who the fuck is uh, Detroit? Who the fuck is Detroit? Don't tell me. I want to figure this out. They are uh, the Red Wings. Detroit Red Wings. Yeah. But at least they got Flyers, right? I'm pretty sure they're called the Philadelphia Flyers. At least they got that correct. So I'll take that as a win. I know before I shut down the other one, VJ was here, and I believe that was Hunter. So at least we had four. I remember I used to do these things. There used to be like 12. So many people. Um, it's okay. The important thing is Nisa is here. I haven't seen Nisa in a while. Okay, I haven't seen you in a while either. Weren't you, uh, weren't you booked on last night's show? I feel like, uh, I feel like I remember that. We weren't there. Nisa wasn't there either. I wasn't there either. I was, uh, I was here watching, uh, the pay-per-view, uh, slowly dying trying to fight myself from taking a night quill so I can stay awake to watch the rest of the show. But I'll tell you right now, as soon as that show ended, boom, night quill down the hatch. And I just passed the fuck out. Heaven. So nice. Fucking German fested world getting travesty sick. Where are you at, Nisa? Why weren't you at the show? I'll be right back. I see how it is. I ask the hard-hitting questions, and you bail. Gotcha. Oh, Cage. Oh, I'm into the room. 
Hello entered the room. What you got, I think, is that, uh, he still wants to call in. <coughs> sure. Where'd you go, man? <coughs> oh, man. Uh, Lisa, are you trying to call? Is that what that thing said? Lisa wanted to call in? Did you get nervous? Hang up? Well, call in, man. It's fine. I'm still willing to build uh, build up uh, some fan base here. Yeah, VJ Price found his way back. Thank you. Uh. The way you look, the way you laugh, the way you love with all you have, there ain't nothing about you. Don't do something for me. Mm. I think everyone on here is huge fans of country music, correct? It's ringing. It's not ringing. Um, yeah. You sent your invite. Oh, look at that. Neeser is a speaker now. One, two, three. What's up, man? much um family issues i couldn't show up last night uh, family first always yeah you, did you think maybe if you did show up yesterday that uh all the uh all the robberies that happened during the uh the show itself probably wouldn't have happened because you could have been there to help back some people up i know i mean really let's go Realistically, it might be on you that uh, Powell is still tag team champions. Uh, I know. VJ <laughs> and El Dorado. And it was a good match, though. It was a good showing. Well, especially with uh, VJ and El Dorado, uh, you know, wrestling twice. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, VJ, that's... Adam, get your butts in here. Don't leave me in the lurch. Stay right here. I'm in on the call. Oh, why? Who, who are you to invite people onto my calls? I know. I'm sorry. Nisa, we've talked about this. I know. I'm sorry, dude. I'm you don't got to apologize, man. It's fine. You're fine. Well, you know, I, here's, here's, here's the thing, Nisa. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? Can I be honest with you? You can always be honest with me. We're pals. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It doesn't matter to me. Who shows up as far as a wrestler to the live stream? I love, you know, having VJ and Cage and Hunter. I mean, having them is great. Don't get me wrong. But the biggest thing I enjoy the most is having you on here because as a fan of pro wrestling, you get the passion behind you oh. of, what, of, of what you just visually see, not the fact that you're doing it. I mean, obviously, people like Cage and Price, you know, they're going to have that passion because they're in the ring doing it. But you find a passion through other people while they're doing something. Which is very cool. Yeah. So don't. I'm going to tell you one thing that I, I tell a lot of our people. And this is a really wrestling related. You shouldn't have to apologize for everything just because you feel bad about something. I know. Like it's okay to apologize. Like honestly, and here's a here's a goofy thing is, like when when something happens and like it, you had no. Hello. You, you cut it out. Hey, bye -bye. And you're like, oh, I'm sorry. Adam. What? No, knee, sir. Oh, yeah, I thought you cut. Dealing with Chris, Chris P. Bacon. Oh, I get it. Chris Hedford. Yeah. One thing I will tell you, it was alarming, is that I the um, connection thing on the bottom of uh, the screen keeps going from excellent to poor, which is very disconcerting. Yeah, I got 10 seconds left on my counter. Yeah, what, what counter? The hard counter. What the fuck are you talking about? You, like, this is like a thing they just you have? 
Oh, wait, am I still on here? Yeah, you're still on here. What, what 10 second count are you talking about? Oh, I was I'm talking about the hard counter that they told me about the fan base thing. Oh. Uh, at least I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Yeah. No, 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 let me tell you something. Don't don't apologize to me just because I say something to you. You know, don't feel bad about anything. If you yeah. want to invite, if you want to invite anybody, you Hunter, I invite you. Cause doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. But feel, but feel. Or see, there's a the thing. Per perfect example. You can invite anyone you want. It doesn't doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. That's the control I have as host of this uh, live stream. You could you could invite the world onto here. Yeah, Doesn't I mean I'm gonna bring them on. Yeah, and <laughs> but go ahead, that um. Oh, wait, did you mean my? No, no wrestling only, Nisa. Remember that. Wrestling only, Nisa. Only I could go off of wrestling. My girl, my fiance is a fan of SCW now. Well, it's good. Everyone should be a fan of SCW wrestling. Yeah, she she came to one of the rock and wrestling shows, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, she had to damper my my uh my my wrestling spirit because she thought I was gonna get in there and beat the tar out of pow. Oh well, yeah, yeah. How's the uh how how's the how's the dieting and workout going? Oh, it's going well. It's going well. Lost. Lost ten more pounds. That's awesome, man. You staying away from sugars and shit? Yeah, zero sugar. Zero sugar, zero fat, you name it. Good for you, man. That's awesome. Um, but listen, Nisa, I'm gonna let you go for a moment because I want to talk to Hunter Payne here for a bit and uh well, it's easier for me to talk to one person at a time. But yeah, no, I'll, I'll leave you on. Hunter, if you got headphones, let me know. I'll bring you on here real quick. I was I was gonna tell him I was gonna tell him an important message anyway. Yeah, Nisa, you, yeah, you can you can stay on, you can stay on. That's fine. Yeah, but I'll be quiet as long. I'll be <coughs> quiet when he talks. Mm, I appreciate that. You could do what uh, you could do what the Power Hour does and uh, wave uh those goofy ass uh head cutouts. You know. All right. I won't I won't see it, but it'll mean just as much to me if you did. Yeah, I don't, I don't get who Ryan Matthews is anyway. <laughs> Uh, well, at least you listen to the Power Hour, which I encourage everyone to listen to the Power Hour, regardless of what they say about me. I encourage everyone to listen to the Power Hour. I'd say it every time, my, every week on my show. How are Payne? How you doing, sir? What's up, buddy? Uh, I'm slowly dying, but I'm getting through. <laughs> uh, well, you, you must have pissed someone off if you're slowly dying. I'd rather die. Slowly. Than Mother Nature, flu, flu-like symptoms here, bro. <laughs> Can I say something before you ask questions, Travis? Sure, if you want to start this out, feel free. This is this is from me to my best buddy in the world, Hunter. I'm sorry for what you're going through. I know there, I, I've, I've been dealt with it twice. It's no, it's no walk in the park. You have you, me, you, me and Anna are giving you the biggest hugs right now. More bigger oh, than the squared circle itself. Ah, uh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Believe me, so. believe me, it's no, it's no cake and ice cream. I'll tell you that much, which I don't need anymore because Travis is getting me on my butt on that. Yeah, stay away from sugar. Been off it for two months. Here's here's the thing, Nisa. I would love to lose weight myself, but I just can't do it until you start doing it. I don't. I can't explain it. I okay, let's get the hunter. <laughs> let's get the hunter. I do. I do want to get the hunter. I want. I want to get to everything that happened last night. But the the biggest thing, I think, the the top story of the entire evening was uh, how the show opened and how the show closed. Actually, there was even a, like a middle part in there between. Um, hunter, you didn't have a match last night, but you were really invest. You're pre. You're you're involved in the show last night. Where you yeah. made that you made that call out to Blaze and a body bag match. Um, I think we kind of get the concept of a body bag match. You stuff your opponent into the body bag, you win the match. Nope, you gotta stuff your opponent into the body bag and completely zip it up. 
You can't. You, oh, you yeah. don't have to just get them in it. You got to zip that whole bag up. Gotcha. What What is the importance of that style of match? I know you have a history uh, with it. I just want to share that a little bit. Do you know the history of it? No, I would buy it. I could guess, okay. but clearly, you know, I know nothing about anything. So. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that that was a match that I had created, mm-hmm. in my mind, way back in Windy City. Um, I was in a huge angle with Terry Allen at the time. Um, we needed to come up with something different. And this is what I came up with, and people actually loved it. And uh, you know, when you're when you're in a when you're, when you're in a few with few with somebody, yeah, um, you want that shit to end. You got to bury that fucker. Mm-hmm. So and that's sad. <laughs> I can't bury him, but I can put him in the body bag. Yeah. No, and, and you know, it, it's like one of those like final chapter kind of things. Like you want to go out like the best way you know how because you can't just have a regular singles match. That's not going to finish anything. You want to show the guy that you could put him down if you wanted to. Right. And being a big dude, I mean, we saw it last night. It took both guys to get, just to get you down. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bigger than I need to be, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But uh, that's all right, man. I mean, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's a little sore from from being choked out yesterday. No, yeah, no, I bet. They, he'll, he'll get his coming. Um, you know, I, obviously, I, I will put uh, something out on social media later this week. But the answer to my the answer to Jimmy Blaze's uh, request is hell yeah. If he wants every match to be POW versus SCW and he wants my heavyweight title on the line, that's a no-brainer. I'll put the title of my house, my cars, and everything else on the line as long as I can get my hands on that little bastard. Yeah, and... Ed. You want to do this, me, sir? Huh? You want to do this? You want to interview him? No, no. <laughs> uh, I, was just, I, I was just greeting. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. only way this shit ends anyways is when Jimmy and I get, get finally get our hands on each other, one way or another. Um, that's how it's going to end. Yeah, and, and, you know, WrestleTopia, like, the matches that we do know of as of right now, which I believe is only two of them, the ladder match and your match with Blaze, um, it always shows that um, it's going to be a great match. The, the show of the year, WrestleTopia, you know. Yes. We're looking. We're looking at a. Uh, I know I'm gonna say well, call your shot match. Is that what the ladder match calls? The call your shot ladder match. Called shot. Called shot ladder match. Called shot ladder match. Um, I didn't have my notes somewhere, but I lost them. So you guys are gonna have to help me with this. Uh, we verified the final contestants last night, with uh, with Aaron Xavier uh, defeating the Cobra, and uh, Koa defeating um. Who did he who did he face last night? Chris Miller. Chris Miller. So we know we know those two are in. Who who are the other contestants in that in that ladder match that I'm forgetting? Uh, please forgive me if I forget. There's six six contestants. There's Miles Mercer. Mm-hmm. Chris Ward. Okay. There's Aaron Xavier. There is Oh man, I'm drawing a blank for that. I apologize. No, it's fine. See, it's a lot easier if the president of FCW was here to answer these questions, but Terry never really wants to uh, talk to me. I don't understand it. We could sit, we could sit in a board meeting across the way. And he just acts like I don't exist, which is fine. I'm okay with it. I, th- I feel the less I talk with him, uh, you know, less likely I am to uh, die. So. <laughs> yeah, but there, there's there's six guys in the match. Um, I, all I just, I'm glad I'm no part of that match. I, you know. I don't do I'm not afraid of heights. I'm afraid of falling. I guess it's a big difference. Oh, I understand. Steve, uh, Steve here, uh, aren't, aren't, I, I, I still can't get his last name right. Power Hour Steve is wondering if he gets his match against Hedford at WrestleTopia. Well, that's, that is up to, uh, that's up to Paul. I can't decide who I want and, and get him over. That, that, he's a president, yeah. so, you know. 
Yeah. Well, we do know Steve has a, a match tonight, so good luck uh, to that, uh, Steve. But I don't know to see him get in the ring and shut Hedford up will be definitely a sight to see. That would be good. Yeah. The little, the little weasel. Yeah. The little weasel. Uh, Adam Cage is on the call. How you doing, sir? No, I'm doing well. Doing well. It's good. I'm glad to hear. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, no. I've, I've been like MIA lately, but yeah. Uh, well, that's what that's what happens when you when you uh, don't live you know nearby. You should probably change that. Well, it's not even that. I was actually supposed to be at the last show, but ended up having like some kind of like medical episode and stuff like that. So. Uh, that was well, that was kind of out of my hands. So <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad to see. I'm glad to hear you're doing. Well, you don't sound better, but I can imagine you're better. Oh uh, well, I mean, uh, yeah, my sinuses are kind of bothering me right now. But other than that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm the same. Uh, JPH, JPH is another contestant in the ladder match. That's right, JPH, the uh... Kazile from Powers mm-hmm. in that ladder match. Oh, I forgot about Kazile. That's you know, and it, it, it's weird to think that with with the issues that SCW has with POW, that they got an opportunity to be in the ladder match, but it also at the same time shows that it wasn't handed to them; they just kind of earned it. Well, JPH actually just got kind of handed their uh, his opportunity. Yeah. What is what is up with uh, Hunter? You you know Terry better than everyone else, and. Obviously, you know, what he did in that tag team match was kind of questionable, but what, what is it with Terry and, like, kind of his protectiveness of Pow? Uh, he has a very long history with Pow. He has wrestled for Pow longer than he's wrestled for any independent fed in the, in the area. So but you might would, have a little soft spot for him. Yeah, but you would think with, uh, <clears throat> you would think with, the responsibility of being president of Southland Championship Wrestling that, you know, he would want what's best for Southland Championship Wrestling. And then you get it, you get him coming out to, you know, to that tag team match after, you know, top shelf uh, picks up the victory and reverses what about, that? What, what about that tag team, man? Jesus Christ. Powerhouses, man. Fucking powerhouses. I, 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 I've said it many times that you know El, El Dorado. Is, I mean, he he doesn't he doesn't go down. I think the first time I see him like legit go down, it had to be you know, it was the use of a chair shot because the dude won't go down. And then you throw you throw VJ Price in there, who's also a big guy, but he also has like a slight like athleticism to him. Yeah, you know? I, I think uh, I mean, we'll see what happens, but I think they could be a pretty dangerous team. Oh yeah, especially having uh, the professor in uh, in their corner and everything. I right. It, it's it's definitely something new that uh, I think uh, SCW needed as far as like you know that kind of tag team. You know, just powerhouse. The the next generation of elite pain, just big fucking dudes <laughs> that turn through people. Yeah. There's I only mean, one elite pain, JP. Uh, uh, jo- wow. Yeah. What'd you? Whoa. Who'd you call Shit. me? Who's you calling? Okay, there's only one. Let me rephrase. There's only one Elite Payne, Travis, and that is Hunter Payne and Elite Marco Anthony. Enough said. Thank you very much. Good night. Tell him, tell uh, him th- me, sir. Yeah. Thanks, Blaze. Can I tell you who I don't want to piss off now? <laughs> sorry, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, when Travis. He gets worked up. When he gets worked up, you never know what's going to happen. I'm sorry, Travis. JPH is the trail has been on my mind. It's been burning me like a burning me like an ember. I just don't I just don't want yeah. Even Hunter seen it firsthand I was holding his jacket. <laughs> oh fuck me, sir. Yeah, no, it's it's it was unfortunate to see what JPH did. You know, the this the growth that he had through SCW and to turn his back on, you know, in retrospect, his family for a payday. You know, he he started here at SCW. Amazing, amazing what money can do to people. Yeah. yeah. I, that's the reason why money's the world's curse. Well, I'm living yeah. proof of that, ain't I? I mean, bulletproof. Yeah. 
Good, thing, good, good, good thing friendship release you, and by friendship I mean me. Yeah, you, you guys, you guys really uh, focus more on the money than anything. Look at me, poor as fuck, and I'm okay with it. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you can buy your chicken wings, you're good, right? Mm, yeah, they're frozen in the. Uh, I, I I buy them in bulk. It's cheaper that way. Spread them out into portions of you know twelve to fifteen, whatever. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What, what does Steve here say? Uh, Power Hour Steve says Terry was well within his authority to make the difficult call he made. From my vantage point, the foot was on the rope. It was unfortunate, but it was the correct call. And I'm fine with that. Like, hey, listen, like if Terry wanted to do that, that's okay. But you know what? When you think about like the big picture of the Power and SCW feud, turn a fucking blind blind eye one day. Allow the referee's decision to be final. I'm not saying it's right. But let's say evils are a thing in life. And, you know, Terry seems to cherry pick the decisions he wants to go out there and reverse. Yes. It's a uh, game to him. Ever, ever since he's been president, man. I mean, um, if you're going to do it for one, do it for all. Be fair down the line. But he seems to pick and choose, and I just don't understand. Hell yeah. You're, you're the perfect example of a hunter. I mean, that battle royal came down to you and Ivan. Oh, who got handed that? Who got handled that briefcase? The same thing with uh, that night that uh, C. Red attacked you from that, behind. I don't know that he handed it to me. He threw it at me, and I caught it. I haven't went out. Ah, good hands. We saw different things. Um, but, <laughs> he he does have a. But at the same time, I guess realistically too, like if he didn't get involved, you potentially couldn't be SCW heavyweight champion right now. How many times is that, Steve? Or Steve? Ooh, Travis? What? Oh. <laughs> Anyone else want to call me the wrong name while you're on here? <laughs> you monster. I said I was sorry. Sheesh. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, Travis, I mean, did you change your name to Steve and you didn't tell anybody? Or? Uh, apparently. Uh, apparently, I'm JPH Steve. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> So would you ask me, uh, Hunter, how many times did Terry hand you the championship? No, you're you're stuck on this Max Holiday thing. Three times. Oh, Max Holiday, yeah, the longest reigning three-time SCW Heavyweight Champion, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no one's ever going to forget that because he's the longest reigning SCW Heavyweight Champion. Three-time uh, three time reign, yeah. Yep, during COVID, he wrestled, he defended it three times. <laughs> but he still had he still had it, it counts. It counts. It hundred percent counts. Want to get technical, Travis? It counts. I I, I do want to be technical. One hundred percent. Longest reigning three time. Um, but you're a two time champ. Um, and like I said, Terry Terry was involved in the decision of that of both of those. Same way it was the decision of the tag team. It, 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 it's like he he wants a chess piece. Everyone that he that works for him, he wants to make these moves the way he sees fit, which I think is a perfect analogy for the kind of guy he is. Um. <clears throat> VJ's on the call, uh, who was firsthand part of that Terry Allen uh, decision. Uh, VJ, first off, how you doing, man? First of all, can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Of course I can hear you. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. you know, I'll admit I am very tired. I am very upset. I am angry. I am pissed off. I'm also... <sighs> A wide range oh, of emotions, man. The price is just... You know, I agree with what Hunter Payne just said. You know, Terry Allen, he does cherry pick when he wants to go out there and reverse decisions, mm-hmm. you know. And the price would just tell you, you know, I under, I got the price has the most respect in the world for Terry Allen, but no one will go after him about this. And maybe the price needs to do that. I don't know. I mean, I, I say shit about him all the time on my show, and I, so far I've survived it. the the problem The problem is, is that. We we had this opportunity to have a better president who was going to make a difference for the company as a whole. I mean, we had to suffer through Sentinel being a fucking commissioner of SCW for how long? And when he lost that, and we got Terry, like there was high hopes for it. But it doesn't. It seems that to it doesn't matter who's in charge. They decide to dictate what they want done based on what they feel. 
whatever their agenda is. Exactly, and that's and that needs to stop. I don't understand. I'm still trying why. to figure out what Terry's agenda is. Yeah, and and, and the thing is, I mean, it's it's there's nothing that can be done about it because it, it's a it's a board decision. It's not you know, like VJ, I, I, I you know, like you said, like maybe it's something you you have to you know deal with, but at the same time. You lay a hand on the president of SCW. Who knows if you're going to be at the next show in SCW? Hmm. Yeah. Hey, you know, if it comes to that, it comes to that. You know, the price has been fired from jobs before. I'm not afraid to get fired because I know at the end of the day I'll be all right. But, you know, I can't even – it's just so many emotions after last night. Yeah. You know, uh, you know we had the belts won. The price in El Dorado won the belts. You know, we beat Spade to the point Spade could not kick out, and he had to was, on the rope. How do you how do you feel knowing that? Okay, so I need I need to know how you and Dorado ended up you know finding like you know an agreement to be together because we've seen you guys wrestle each other for months. You know, and you guys had that um, that false count everywhere match you know a couple months ago. And all of a sudden, we see now that you're teaming together. And I know the professor has something to do with that. I mean, that's well, pretty yeah. obvious. But, but how 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 was this how was this opportunity offered to you? And where did, why did you see this as something you wanted to get involved in? Well, you know, it's a couple of different things. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, the Price and El Dorado were placed in a tag team match against our will. Uh, against Jimmy Blaze and Eric Freedom Revolution in POW a few weeks back. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't want to do it, but we went out there and did it. Yeah. Um, and when Mr. Keast called me out last night, you know, to join them, uh, it took me by surprise. You know, I don't know if you saw my reaction when I came out. I was asking Keast, what the hell is he doing? You know, I mean, this is essential not to make this kind of comparison is essentially God and the devil making an agreement. Yeah. You know, but it is what it is. I'm for it. Let's see where it goes. But first things first, we have got to get those belts off of POW and back in SCW. I agree with you, VJ. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you, and man, we did. You, and, you and El Dorado need to put your differences aside, man. You guys can be one hell of a fucking team. You know, um, yeah, those belts just have to come back to SCW, and we just need to rid SCW of power once and for all. You know, whether I have to beat Jimmy Blaze, whether El Dorado has to beat Scott Spade, whether Hunter Payne beats Jimmy Blaze or whatever, you know, we just have to show that Southland reigns supreme here in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. Ah. Damn straight about that. Yeah, it's the first time I ever agreed with you, VJ. Who just growled? Me. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I was growling like, pow needs to go. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. It just came out of fucking nowhere. I'm but, sorry. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Stop. Stop apologizing, bro. But, uh, but I agree. Going. But but I agree with VJ as Moses. Adam does. It's 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 gotta be like they need to take the cows back, or Hunter needs to beat the living beep out of Blaze, or me getting revenge on JPH for for betraying a long glorious friendship. Oh, one hundred percent. Uh, real quick, uh, El Dorado is here, so if you wanted to uh, call in, feel free to do so. Uh, but you're you're right. The biggest thing to focus on, especially right now. Is re- regardless of the issues you and Eldorado did have, it's not anything compared to what Powell has done to your locker room over the past. It kind of feels like almost a year now. It's gone on way too long, you know. Powell has yeah. hurt the locker room, you know. The price, you know. I know the price is a new face. Mm-hmm. CW, you know, I'm a new thing here in SCW and across professional wrestling. But I've seen the locker room get torn apart. It's almost an entirely different locker room than when the price first came into SCW. Yeah. It's totally different. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, uh, tell me about your new finish, though, man. I saw some price lock happening uh, last night. What, what yeah. made you start to do something different there? You know, going forward, you're going to see a whole lot of new stuff in the price. A whole yeah. lot more. You know, that's something I've been working on for a while. I wanted to do that for a while. 
I finally got the chance to do it last night, and it worked the first mm-hmm. time I used it. You know what? I'm going to use it every night from now on. Every night I'm in the ring, I'm going to use that from now on. It's going to bring me lots of victories, submissions, tap outs. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have the whole locker room quiet. I quit. Right. There's just there's just a different feeling when you take a victory through a submission or even like a sleeper than it is just like a normal pin because you're 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 bringing that person to the point where they're done. Exactly. You know, and I'll hand it to the workhorses. You know, you know they gave me and El Dorado in our respective singles matches. They gave us you know what they what they had. You know, I, I'll hand mm-hmm. kids. Yeah. You know, but at the end of the day, you know. We both won our matches. This is unfortunate. We couldn't win the tag match. Um, but, you know, it's you're just going to see a whole different side of BJ Price from now on. It's time for the Price to really wake the hell up. No, yeah, 100%. And uh, Eldorado uh, mentioned uh, you are here. Now, can you hear us? You want to say yeah, something? I yeah, I can hear you all. God, yeah, look at that. Just listen to that sexy fucking voice. Mm, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you smoked a pack of Marlboros last night. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> just sound like you're living your best life at this very moment. Tell, tell, tell me about, tell me about your feelings on uh, team with DJ Price. You seemed kind of hesitant when uh, pro, the professor brought him out, but it actually seemed to work out pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of iffy about it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. He's just if your body, he's gone. He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gone. God, let's see if we come back. Well, this Adam says he's talking though. God, Eldorado, if you're talking, I can't hear you, brother. Well, I'll come back to you if your voice comes up. Uh, but Adam, I guess, would be the perfect example. I mean, I mean, you and VJ Price were both partners in uh, Bulletproof LLC. Now, uh, Adam... for like three seconds. Yeah, it counted. Was, it, ha- it, ha- it, ha- it happened, though. It was like okay. a flash. It happened before an incident occurred, but we don't got to dive into the incident because we did that already. I can't but... pass before he could even get started. Oh, jeez. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> From behind, though, man. Like, it'd be different if you were, like, in my face, but no. You had to come from behind, but that's a whole different story. But go on, Travis. <laughs> Tell, tell me what it's like to, to team with a guy like VJ Price. You know, what, what does El Dorado have to look forward to as far as what he brings to the ring? You're asking him this, okay. <laughs> I mean, for the, for the, like, the three seconds that we yes. were freaking teaming? Yeah, 100%, uh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, he's a dirty little shit. <laughs> so, um, so, uh, it, El Dorado, watch your back. Um, no, but you know what, though? I will give credit where credit's due. VJ's... He's like one of the up and coming stars in Southland and stuff like that. Like he's no, he's no slouch. You know? Yeah. Like, and like he he whooped my ass just as much as I whooped his ass. You know what I'm saying? So I can't I can't really sit here and just you know bury him or something like that because that'd be that'd be that'd be wrong because because uh-huh. I wouldn't be giving him credit and stuff like that. So I give him credit. You know, like I said, he's a hell of a talent and stuff like that. But your personality is shit, bro. You know, despite everything you just said, you know, Adam, one thing I will say to you, you gained my respect this year. As, as you did, as you did, you gained my respect, dude. God, it's just so sweet. I'd have to, I'd have See, to. See, now we're having it. like a John Cusack moment right now, so. Right. I'd have to agree with Adam, though. I mean, when it comes to it, VJ's the only dude to put me down. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It, it it comes it comes to a point where um, obviously since since VJ Price has been here, it's been all about VJ Price. Everything is for VJ Price. The price is always right. Which I mean, you you prove that time and time again. Like when you get into the ring, you're going to do what you can, regardless of what you need to do to pick up the victory. So it, it's understandable how like some people are kind of discouraged on can he actually team. With El Dorado, can he make this work? You and let me chime in in here, Travis. Oh no! Please interrupt me. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I finally asked you if you didn't mind first. So no, I'm you know what? Yeah. I wasn't yeah. going to talk either way. Of course you were. You're SCW Heavyweight Champion. I get it. I mean, if you if you watch what happened last night. Yeah. 
And I know what happened last night was way different for VJ. I don't think he's had anyone chair him in the past three, four years. Mm -hmm. So I think he got a feel for what it's like to have the nation behind him. Yeah. I hope he got that good feeling, and I hope he doesn't screw Eldorado over. I hope him and Eldorado can put their differences aside and kick everyone's ass in Southland. And also with VJ, he's not just wrestling for VJ. Anymore. He's wrestling for the professional. <coughs> actually wrestling for Southland. He wants those belts back in Southland. I mean, to me, how great is that? Oh, I understand. When you got two bruisers like that, two titans like that, why wouldn't you, why, you know, how can you not be happy they want, they're, they're fighting for Southland? Yeah. I feel sorry. I feel sorry for Blaze and, and Spade. No, you know what? I, I watched the pay per view last night and stuff, and I, I saw everything that happened. And like I said, I'd, I'd never thought I'd have the day where it's like, come on, VJ, like cheering on VJ freaking Price. You know, you know what I mean. And then, I'm, like, I, I, I agree with you. I don't. Oh, no, well, no. That. that I mean, and, and and the thing is, too, it's like, yeah, what you know, this the decision happened. You know, it happened. You know what I'm saying? But w that first initial three count, I, I fucking jumped off my couch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's one of the, and I, I'm glad you interrupted me. You know, so you could say exactly what I was going to say. So it saves me that time, time. But saving breaths on her pain. Right, right. It just seems like people want me you know, the host of the show to talk less and less. But uh, it's cool. You know, it's I'm, I'm totally fine with it because I think, in all honesty, I think it, coming from Hunter Payne means more to VJ Price to Eldorado than it is coming from Travis D. I mean, you're looking at a guy who I mean, I I, I know you told me before, Hunter. How many years you got in the, in the business now? Twenty six. 26 years. So for a 26 Damn, years guy, dude, I was like one years old when you started wrestling, but it's cool. Easy there. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like two years old when you started wrestling. <laughs> All right, we're, yeah. not, we're not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, you know I love you, man. It's cool. Uh, Hunter, it's like I always say, older but better. He, it, it, it's my like man, fine BJ, wine. My man. It's a it, 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 hundred pains like fine wine, you know. <laughs> it's like the wine is cheap at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, VJ. All right, here we go. <laughs> the old VJ coming out after I just put you over, you motherfucker. See, I told you, man, that personality. I'm telling you. He can't. He can't. He can't keep on the straight and narrow for five fucking minutes. <laughs> he almost made it. It was about three and a half. He almost made it. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, I'm. <laughs> I'm learning. But, but that's, and that's the thing, man. It's like you you're at a point now in in your career where you're you're not focused just on you anymore. You know what? No. Oh boy. SCW oh, as Travis, a whole, like Travis? becoming the guy. You know, oh, and you uh, how do I want to word this? Much. It's we almost yeah. had to hand it over to Neeser. Who, me? Oh, no, 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 what, what are you guys doing to my show? It sounded like you fell out. It sounded <laughs> What'd you like do, Neeser? It sounded like you fell out of your chair. <laughs> it did. God. <laughs> God, perfect. It He's getting up. He's like, oh, nothing happened here. Nothing happened. Travis had too many chicken wings and broke his chair this morning. He just had another one. It's like, almost, it's like I fell over like Hunter did in the bathroom a few months ago, or? Oh. Easy there. Oh. I'm out of that conversation. I see, this, shit, huh? I see this. I see this comment in yeah. in the chat. It says Blaze and Spade will keep those belts no matter who they wrestle. Oh, boy. oh yeah, that's that's super fan I, Steve. I I, pr I promise you this. Last night was a fluke. Me and VJ. By the time we get another title shot with them, I am gonna beat the living hell out of Spade and Blaze. They're going to regret stepping in that ring against me and VJ. I promise you that. Yeah. Like you and can I, take that to the bank. Take that to the bank. <laughs> but you, you got, you got, and the one thing you got, you know, people have to realize when it comes to, uh, okay, Steve, I, I, I get what you're trying to do. You just got to chill out for a minute, man. Um, one thing people got to realize is like you guys teamed, Legitly, 
you know, only twice. And the second time you guys won the SCW Tag Team Championship, regardless of the fact that it got turned over or whatever, you won the titles and only your second time teaming together. Like a legit team. I mean, at POW, you were just kind of thrown together. You know, you made you made the best of the situation that you were handed. To a legitly team, you guys won the titles. So it just proves right there that you're capable of doing it. You just got to find the right opportunity and find a way to not allow other people to kind of, like, interfere. If that came through. I don't know if I'm still cutting in and out. I really don't know. You kind of cut out a little bit, and then, like, it, it, it started catching up, and then you just start talking, like, really fucking fast. <laughs> I really have no idea what the hell's going on. That's uh, that's alarming. But eh, go on. Committed. No, fuck it. I got nothing else. What's the point of me talking if nothing comes through? It's like fucking power, it's like fucking super fan Steve. He just says whatever he wants to say and Hey, I don't think that stuff happens on the power hour. Ooh. <sighs> you know I can hang up on you, right? You know I can call back. I don't have the answer. I guess I'll scream my fucking calls like a debt collector. I don't give a shit. He won't yeah, answer, yeah, and then attack. all of a sudden, he'll hear a knock on his door. It'll, it'll be Hunter. <laughs> Hunter will be knocking on his door. Oh, like come three, on now. Like three minutes later. Like, like how did he get there so fast? Yeah, no, no. I, I, have no, I have no fear of Hunter showing up. First off, it's a Sunday. This is pigeon feeding in the park day for Hunter Payne. So I have no like fear of him actually showing up at my house. It's the Lord's Day. Yeah, it's the Sabbath. It's the day of rest. Come on over, Hunter. I'll give you the flu. I don't give a shit. I will cough in your mouth. I don't care. <laughs> you ain't getting nowhere near my mouth, my man. No, this this took a turn. A this, this took a turn. <laughs> this guy is getting very uncomfortable. That's right. Just give you that viral hot sauce fucking taste. Oh. Oh, now it very now it escalated. <laughs> Yeah, let's get back on track. Yeah, yeah, yeah back to wrestling. Yeah, get back um, on track, guys. Please get back on track. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so uh, what else happened last night? Amazon had her uh, women's match against, uh, was it Nikki what Nick? Guys, what did you guys think of Nikki Nick? I mean, I, I, thought, I, thought, it, I thought it went pretty good. I like her. I know nothing about her, but I like her, and I hope she's around a little bit longer. I wa- I watched a pay per view last night. Don't even ask me. She's a hell of an athlete. That huh? she is. I mean, I, I I've seen her around the independent scene and stuff like that. Like I said, she is she is pretty impressive. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I got I got nothing really bad to say about it. Me neither. Well, let's see how long she sticks around. <laughs> I did see the uh, post that um, her and uh, Natasha did last night showing the chops that uh, Natasha took. Yeah, those are brutal. God. Holy damn, bony those chops. Yeesh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, the chop, chops are one thing that I would never get over in this fucking business. You know, it's, oh, they're so fucking rough. I know. Yeah. You, uh, right. oh, Travis, you've taken a chop from Hunter, right? Uh, n- yes and no. I, Hunter gave me an overhand chop, which is not as bad as a knife edge chop. It still hurts, but oh no, I guarantee you, it'll st- it, it still hurts. I haven't been chopped by Hunter in a while. But the first time I got chopped by Hunter, I was probably about like 150 pounds, and my damn chest probably caved in. <laughs> I I know I know when it comes to Hunter, when he overhand chopped me, I know he didn't do it as hard as he could. Which I appreciate, but uh, yeah, no, there was so effective. There was a, I, 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 my first bump I took in wrestling for the, I don't know, probably the first time in twelve years. I, I just went to Hunter like shoulder tackle me, and I died. That's never a good idea either. <laughs> <laughs> you see Hunter's uh, big ass fly. Yeah, you better like pray. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, I want to take a bump, shoulder tackle me, and he did. And you know, I saw heaven for a moment, and then I came back. It was, it was so bright. Didn't, didn't I, didn't I down there drop you on a forearm too, Travis? Oh, probably. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why I kept saying, "Hey, hit me with this," but uh, you kept doing it. You were fine with it. <laughs> You're saying hit you? With, why wouldn't I hit you, bro? Come on. 
You're yeah. a very hittable kind of person. I am. I am. I'm very cushiony, like a like a like a crash pad. So anyway, then he, th then he throws. Anyways, back back to what you guys were saying, just, just so you guys know. Mm -hmm. Um, me and Jimmy are wrestling for the first time ever against each other. And it's what? Really never wrestled in singles match uh, with Jimmy before. How is that possible? Wow. Never happened. It's always wow. the exact same. Well, this might be an epic battle for the ages. It's, it's so what you're saying ages. is, is this matchup needs to take place in the Tokyo Dome. <laughs> that means they got exactly, I, I agree, fly, Adam. Bro. Well, fine. We'll find like a different dome, like a roller dome, a soccer dome, or something like that. But it'll be a dome. As long as it's a dome. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, I got. Could, I got you know what? You know what? It could be the salt dome. I don't care. <laughs> first time, first I, I get... time we're wrestling. Um, who knows if it'll be the last? But uh, I'm looking forward to. Uh... Hoping to put that motherfucker in a body bag. I got a place where, where this match might take. Let, let me get my announcer on. <clears throat> uh oh. <clears throat> Here we go. Live from the Madison Square Garden in New York City it is That's Hunter. I mean, you Sorry. can drive there, Hunter. You ain't got to fly there. Yeah, but New York, no thanks. Sorry, <laughs> I, was just, I, I was just pretending, dude. That's all in the United Center. <laughs> well, I'm down with the United Center. United Center, got it. Come down to St. Louis, I got the hookup. <laughs> How about AT and T Stadium? Let's do the stadium. Well, I'm down. But stadium door. St still got to drive though. I don't though. care where I don't care where it's at, right? Uh, I'm hoping to God I send Jimmy off in a body bag. <laughs> and Travis, I'll... you've been asking for this for a long time, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah. One thing I can promise you is the old Hunter Payne. I'm talking old Hunter Payne will be in full force. I'm bringing oh a few friends with me and everything. So you, 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 wait, wait, wait. You're gonna bring the snake? I am going to bring my snake. Oh boy! I better warn Megara. Did, did somebody? Did somebody just tell me to wait on my own fucking show? Yeah, that was me. But you know. How dare you? No, I'm kidding. That's fine. Um, yeah, no, Hunter, I, I've i been saying it since 2018-ish that, like, the, 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 the PG Hunter pain needs to stop. And the fact that you're telling me that – I mean, I've seen it. I've seen the old Hunter pain come back slowly over the last few months. <laughs> and I'm happy for this. And the thing is, it's, there's, dude, it's a lot of pressure on you, too. I mean, like, what if you lose? There's always a, when you when you wrestle, you fight, you do any competition, Travis. There's always a, a chance of losing. It is what it is. It, it, yeah. If I lose, then obviously he's the better man. It is what it is. Yeah, but come on now, we know, know about it. We know Blades isn't a better man at anything. But there's the thing, Blades Blades has an entourage all the time, right? Do I think he's? I mean, realistically, you have an entourage with him all the time when he's too. Down here and and Mr. Spisery and Spades with him and I. I have nobody. So the only thing, the only thing that Blaze has that you don't is a very thin, stringy ponytail. Yeah, it is very stringy. Isn't it, it is very stringy. I think he uses super glue to hold that little fucker back. I don't know. I could be. I believe it. I believe it. It it looks like he just took a bunch of like you know like boiled like spaghetti noodles and just threw it up in a bun. <laughs> is it real or is it memorized? <laughs> But I'm I'm ex I'm excited to see the old Hunter Payne because I've seen videos of the old Hunter Payne, the, the Hunter Payne that that uh that elite pain power bombed Angel, like that oh, yeah. that type of Hunter, yeah, 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 that guy, that, <laughs> that, that, guy that, that, that guy will be back tenfold. So yeah, the Southland ass kicker, the the Hell's Cowboy, like that Hunter Payne, and not only that, I get to see him in a body bag match that I have only heard of, never actually seen. Been in three of them. Yeah. So, WrestleTopia is going to be the show to see. And I'm hoping people actually get out there and watch it because not only matches, that, like... Matches are going to be announced daily, weekly, um, as, as they come together. The second these matches get signed, they will be put out and everyone will know who's, who is wrestling who as far as Southland and Powell goes. I think it's going to be a <coughs> show. I can't wait for it to happen. 
Yeah, and the thing is, this cool too is like the the two matches that are currently announced at least, they're specialty matches that I have yet to see at SCW since uh, SCW yeah, became. I don't know. SCW. I don't know. Uh, the, the, there is a third one. Um, the, Natasha Crane won by forfeit last month uh, for the high voltage title, mm-hmm. and she has to face Meat Hook from Pow. Oh, oh yeah, that'd, 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 be, that'd be a hell of a match. I forgot that Terry took my main event from me. Yeah, monsters. See, you are the you are the GM for High Voltage, Travis. This you should have known. I heard that that was an option, but I didn't think they would actually take it from me. You know, what I mean, like, what, what's what's wrong with having like, you know, whatever. I'm fine with it. You know, the the best part, the whole reason we have high voltage, is to get those guys onto the main roster. And if that means the inaugural champion is crowned on an SCW show, I'm fine with that. It bothers me a little, but I'm fine with that because I know that even though I have, I think like, it's good to bring high, the high voltage to the to the main roster for mm-hmm. people that don't follow high voltage to see. I think it's a good thing. Yeah, no, I, I, that's a, that's where I'm agreeing with you. See, I do agree with you, Hunter. You know, we're, Very we're, we're both up there in age. We get it. You know, it's different times. You know, me in my mid-30s, you, you know, 30 years older than mid-30s, whatever. It's just, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, no, I, I agree with you 100%. I, I, you know, to crown a high-voltage champion on WrestleTopia is huge. I... I couldn't think of a better opportunity to do that. I mean, we're we're gonna see the towel get defended on high voltage. I mean, going you're, gonna forward. Ter- you're gonna be pissed at Terry Elm, but I thought that was a good call. Oh we're no! Have more eyes on high voltage, so that's what we want. I have so many other reasons to be pissed at that guy. This doesn't have to be one of them. <laughs> yeah, like his goofy suits that he, I'm assuming, him and Steve got from the same place. Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm trying not to laugh because I'm already under, I'm already under severe watch. Uh, um, before we forget, uh, so we know WrestleTopia is coming up, but there's actually a show that's happening before WrestleTopia next Saturday. Yes. Um, uh, Hunter, you're 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 the top SCW guy. You're probably gonna know more than anyone else. Tell me how that show got created because this is a new venue, a new area for SCW. Yeah, uh, A and X actually uh, ended up getting this venue for us, and they happened to want us over there uh, Labor Day weekend. So why not? It's uh, they have like a big Labor Day fest. Uh, we got the uh, the grade school gym over there. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be uh, a hell of a night. It's it's for uh, uh, one of the children over there who A and X. Uh, help raise money for her, uh, when she was battling cancer. Um, and you don't need a ticket to get in. All you need to do is give a minimum of a $5 donation to get in. And all, so, the, proceeds, all the proceeds are going to go to the Zayla Mischief Foundation. That's really cool. Yeah, and it's... I think this is happening during, like, a, the Hersher Fest or something like that. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's awesome. And I, I, a lot of people, like, when I talk to them about, like, you know, oh, this show's happening in Hershey. It's like, oh, where's Hershey? It's like, it's just like Shabans, but on the opposite side of King Key. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, just, it's just more into the country. So they, they got a car dealership and a, and a CVS, so you know they're legit. Um, <laughs> but I was, I was really excited to hear about that because I know one of the biggest things I've heard from SCW is branching themselves out into more venues and getting more shows. Um, when Steam Hollow happened, uh, you know, that was one step forward to that happening, and now this is happening, which is pretty cool. So, there's going to get I mean, two... For the record, I think uh, next year, uh, starting in 23, we will, be, we'll be, we will be back at Steam Hollow uh, six times. They want us nice. back for two more shows uh, next year, so... That's really half awesome. Year, yep, half the year will be spent at Steam Hollow, so I think that's fantastic. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, I think if I look at this right, and I could be wrong, you know, which I usually am quite a bit. Um, 
we got we got what three you got three SCW shows in the span of like five six weeks, because uh, Hallowmania happens um, on the seventeenth. The seventeenth. So we get, yeah we got we got three shows in the span of uh, four weeks. Yeah. Well, Russell, wait, Hell WrestleTopia, yeah. WrestleTopia is September seventeenth, right? Yeah. And then Hallowmania is October eighth. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay, you're going to October. Yeah, the, the October show is early. Uh, yeah. That's when, that's when so, we were able to get Team Hollow. So. Yeah. So six, so it's three shows in the span of like six weeks. So God, it's it's a good time to be a professional wrestling fan, especially in the Kanki area, because this SCW is the Kanki area's, you know, place to go. Right. I right, think our, I think I think our right. product is getting better and better. I think mm-hmm. uh, the wrestlers are coming around, finding their way, uh, discovering who they are, and I think they're all going out there killing it. So, you know that 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 goes you know, that goes to say how much you know Southland's improved and stuff like that. Because honestly, like I was at um I was at the store like maybe a couple weeks ago and stuff like that and. Like, I had no Southland, like, shirt on. I didn't have, like, an Adam Cage shirt on or anything like that. And I was doing my shopping, and this guy came up to me, and he asked if I was Adam Cage. And I'm thinking, like, oh, uh, uh, yeah. And he was like, yeah, I watch Southland, like, every month. And it was, like, there's people ordering Southland out here in Missouri, which is, That's I think cool. it's, uh, yeah, I just, I thought that was freaking awesome. Yeah, that's good to hear. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it's like I said, I mean, like, you know, when, when you get, and what's, you know, kind of fucking like uh, super fan Steve said it in a negative way, is that, uh, that the business is different nowadays. And it's because of social media, the ability to get yourself out there on a larger platform. You know, so when you, you can sit there and you can do your promos and, you know, all this stuff that's not really seen in indie wrestling. I mean, like, I don't know. I know Elite Pro, when they made their DVDs and they sold them, like, they did backstage interviews that they kind of spliced into the recordings, and that's all well and good, but unless you own the DVD, you don't see that stuff. But now that we live in a generation where, you know, Facebook is a thing, Instagram is a thing, TikTok's a thing, you have the ability to get promos, cut promos, and, you know, get them out to the fans. And I think that's something that people aren't taking advantage of as much as they should. I agree. I agree, Travis, and, uh, and I'm the one guilty of it, and I'm a dinosaur when it comes to technology. I keep telling myself I'm going to get better working with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, why would I not? It's free. It's at your fingertips. I'm just off yeah. on social media, dude. I'm hardly ever on. I can barely work this shit, so I got to get You are not a dino. Oh, no. I got to get better at it for sure. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. Go ahead, me, sir. You're not a dinosaur hunter. Oh, I appreciate that. I feel like one. Oh, see, even Nisa's going to lie to you. If you if you were a dinosaur, <laughs> you'd be a woolly mammoth. I mean, he is a mammoth. I mean, he's a mammoth of a man. <laughs> I like how you chose the hairiest animal to tell a bald man that's what he's like. I didn't say, see, now you're bringing up bald stuff. I mean, that's like. Oh, he knows he's bald. <laughs> that's a, I'm that's a bald, choice. I'm... I'm not bald, I'm follically challenged. Follically challenged. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay. But, don't, don't discriminate. <laughs> but, hey, yeah. real, real quick, I got I to gotta hop off. I got to take my son to his hockey practice and stuff like that. But, mm-hmm. hey, real quick, I yeah. want to go back to what Hunter was saying. Like, you know, uh, you know, Powell has, like, you know, they're all their guys and stuff like that, and you don't have anybody. You have the whole Southland roster, dude. Like, I'm a phone call away. VJ's a phone call away. Anybody's a phone call away, man. Just give me a call. I'm there in your corner. You know what I'm saying? As well as everybody else is in, on the roster. So you have people, dude. Don't don't say you have nobody. You have everybody. Uh, I appreciate that. But, you know, what I hear is everyone seems to think I picked this fight and I have to fight it. So. You know, we're, 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 I, we're right, I, we're, I'm we're right behind you, you guys, dude. Bro. I did it for you guys. I'm going to continue to do it for you guys, whether win, lose, or draw. I'm, I, you know, it's my fight. So. Yeah, but like I said, man, we're we're behind you the whole way. We're going to support you and stuff like that. So we're we're behind you, man. Don't don't worry about not having anybody because we're all going to be there. 
Stop playing strong! Right. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to get off and uh, uh, JPH pal sucks. All right, guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> take care, Adam. All right. Similarly, I also have to hop off. I have Price has to go take care of some business. But yeah, I have to go drop Adam K. Go drop a deuce. All right. <laughs> I'm going to drop a deuce on a dude in some ring somewhere. I don't know, maybe. But, uh, kill it, Hunter, kill it, bro. You know, I, Whatever you do, go kill it, man. I am. I'm going to kill it for you. I'm going to kill it for SCW. And I echo Adam Cage's sentiments. You know, you've got me also a phone call away, DM away, text messages away, whatever, Telegram, whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I'm I'm so old. I use Morse code. Can you read that? Yeah. You look up at the sky, man. You'll see his smoke signals. Hey. However, I can get it out there. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> BJ, I appreciate you coming on talking with us, man. Thank you. No problem. It was my pleasure. Well, yeah. it was your pleasure. Take care, BJ. Too. Good job last time, brother. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. <laughs> Have a good one. Um, you know, to talk to talk a little bit more about um, using social media and stuff like that, uh, it's actually one of the things that is being taught down at the school. It should be. Yeah, the promos and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's more like you know like when you, when you join because um, we don't talk too much about the school like we should. Uh, you you learn to be a rounded wrestler, not only as what you learned in the ring, but how to have the capability of you know attack you know getting yourself to the audience, you know making yourself seem uh, you know selling yourself to a fan and everything. Um, it, you got you guys have a lot of great talent, a lot of great people uh, in the wrestling school as of right now. You know, I mean, you guys you guys have a school. I go down there once in a while to check in and hang out. Uh, and everyone there is really awesome. You know, they, they're, they're busting their ass. They're learning, you know, to become like the next guy. Um, yeah. I haven't gone, I haven't seen too many like, you know, promo, promo classes and stuff like that, but I think that they need to use the social media once they're learning to do that stuff. Oh, for sure. I have, I have a cool. question for you, Trav, to get off track a little bit. Uh, what do you yeah. think of, uh, the Hawaiian Hitman? God. Newcomer to Southland. I wish I could pronounce his name. <laughs> uh, Ko- Koa Laksamana. Laksamana, okay, because I, I knew Koa. Koa was easy for me. But I'm looking at that, I'm like, is that uh, like, Lem- Lemina? Le- but I, I love the dude. He's He he brings an energy that, you know, like we, the thing is, I think ever since Pow kind of came around, like there's like this dark cloud that kind of is hovering over Southland. Like there's just a, there, there's there's just a, a weird feeling through SCW where people are like they're more focused on protecting the company from POW than you know getting the audience you know you know you know hyped up. Uh, Koa does Koa's new to the area. He's new. He's he, you know he just showed up uh, like two months ago, a month ago. Correct. Uh, so the energy he brings, it's refreshing, and I think that's going to uh, rub off on other people. You know, like that dude. That dude, that dude is the highest energy mm-hmm. I think I've ever been around, ever. Oh yeah. He's only he only knows one speed, and it's and it's full steam ahead. Yeah. Talking and- to him, I mean, anything, working out, training, he don't stop. The dude don't truly don't stop. He's I mean, what you see in the ring when he's performing is how he is all the time. Oh, yeah. And especially like going up against a guy like Chris Miller, which we haven't seen Chris Miller in SCW in probably like maybe three years. Um, he, 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 he didn't like back down. He didn't run away. Like just full force right at Chris Miller and picked yeah. up the victory. You know, it was – it, it's it's amazing Chris, to th- is, Chris is no slouch man he's been around so oh yeah my, my my first my first time seeing Chris Miller my very first SCW show was June 2017 May 2017 I think it was May 2017 I don't think you guys did shows in June back then um it was you are, um, you are correct see see I remember some shit uh it was Chris Miller versus uh Andy Black in a street fight oh, and boy. yeah and back then like you know like he just he seemed he seemed new to the business. I didn't know much about him, but you could tell how hard of a hitting guy he is. And then you, you know you fast forward 
five years later, you know, one half of, you know, CNC and, you know, he, he just got bigger and like you can see what he's been doing in the business. I mean, that's, that's a lot of pressure to put on a guy who, you know, we, we know that he wrestled back in the day, Koa, like, you know, like he's, he's like reviving his life here. So for his second match back to face a guy like Chris Miller and pick up a win is fucking huge. For sure. You know, and that and that win gave him a slot in that ladder match. So you you look at this guy, his third match back in this business could potentially get him an opportunity to be the SCW heavyweight champion. Yeah. You know, that's I, what he wants. That's what he wants, bro. That's what yeah. he wants. Yeah. And, and and that's what everyone should be shooting for. Like, it, I mean, I've heard it several times in many interviews. If you're not here to become world champion, then what are you yeah, doing? If you don't want to, if you don't want to be the man, you don't belong being being the exactly. Man. You know, and and right now with Hunter Payne being SCW yeah. heavyweight champion, being the guy is exactly what SCW needs. But let's be honest, you're not going to be here forever. There's right. there's there's going to be there's going to need to be a next guy. In my mind, that next guy was JPH. But look look at look at everything that happened now. You know, he cashed out. So now SCW, the 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 trainees, the high voltage guys, everyone has an opportunity now to be the next Hunter Payne for SCW. Well, you know, Creed, only Creed one Hunter don't, Payne. don't sleep on Creed. Creed's hurt, but he'll be back. Creed, oh yeah. No, I, I have no doubt that Creed could you know the Creed is probably the next guy after JPH. But the thing is, the guys who are currently here can't just accept it. They can't be like, oh well, you know. Creed's going to be the next guy. I'm okay with that. Fuck no. Regardless if Creed is out on injury or Creed is in the ring, you want to be better than Creed. You want to step over him. Exactly. You know, and Creed's always going to, you know, he's going to bring that challenge. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to do whatever he can to top everybody else to be that next guy. And you guys have, then the guys out there, you know, the, the VJ Prices, the Eldorados, the, the Adam Cages, all you guys, you know, Hell, even even when we look at the Amazon, you know, men, women, whoever, you all have the opportunity to be the next guy, and regardless of who is in front of you, you need to step over them and find the way to be the next fucking Hunter Payne. The, you need to, you need a reason to get into the SCW uh, Heavyweight Championship like you know spot, exactly. and the way you do that is you know you're doing the training, you're busting your ass, you're talking to veterans and you're, you know, you're learning from people in the locker rooms and you're doing promos and you're getting your name out there because when you're a draw, when people know who you are and they want to see you more, that's when you get more fucking uh, matches under your belt. And that's when you come, Hey, this is our guy, you know, Hunter Payne didn't start, you know, from the very top at the beginning, Max Holiday didn't start at the very top. Uh, Marshall Rocket didn't start at the very, all these former SCW uh, heavyweight champions, Ian Gager, um, you know, Sean Mulligan, all these guys started at a certain point and they had a disadvantage to what guys have now. And that is social media. You know, right. there, was, there was no Facebook when you guys started, you know, fucking 26, 27 years ago. You, VHS you got tapes, baby. VHS tapes. That's what we yeah. had. Yeah. The only way you got your name out there is if you were handed a bunch of flyers by the booker and you walked down the street, handing out flyers that had your picture on it. Hey, come see me wrestle tonight. Well, that the only way we were getting noticed was by driving to Indianapolis or Pennsylvania or yeah. Ohio, hoping to get a spot on the card. It wasn't emailing anyone. There was no you. You just had to, sh- to drive where you wanted to be and show up. Yeah. Where so it, there was probably a good chance you were not going to be used, but that was the only way to do it back then. Yeah, yeah. You said there was no guarantees, but hey, at least you were there. So who knows? It's oh, the guys nowadays have. Have uh, have the chance to do something that you guys didn't have, and that's get your names out there in a quicker way, in a larger scale. Entirely. So when, yeah, so when these guys aren't doing promos, and they, every guy, every guy who who was booked to, to wrestle last night, every one of them should have had some kind of promo release on their Facebook pages. Agreed. Every one of them, and th- it's a missed opportunity when they do it. It doesn't hurt them, but it's not helping there will, them. There will be there will be there will be promos. From every Southland wrestler before WrestleTopia, I can promise you that. Okay. Uh, tell people tell people how they can find uh, information on the wrestling school. 
So I want the guys out there who want to find out, start following their dream have the ability to do so. The best way to do so is to go on uh, our Southland Southland Championship Wrestling Facebook page and uh, message us on there. Yeah, I would definitely think of that. That's truly the best way, Trev. Yeah, and uh, you know, and that's the thing too. It's like it's not it's not just for wrestling. You guys have the ability to help train people to be managers and referees and everything like that. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, the, the people who are fans of wrestling who, you know, maybe not want to be a wrestler but want to be, you know, a valet, a manager, or, you know, hell, just to be a referee, just to be in the action, get trained at, uh, at SCW's uh, school. Correct. Yeah. Is there, do you, do you yeah, we'll, tra- we'll, 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 we'll train you to do it all. Yeah, yeah. Now, now yes, I'm not a part of it, but I don't need to be trained. I'm naturally skilled at everything. Yeah. <laughs> we'll move on from that one. You can't check no. yourself out like this, Travis. I'm taking a pass on that one. No, oh, it's totally fine. I, I I was just waiting to see if there was any kind of answer to uh, that whatsoever. Um, okay, let me see if I can pull up. So next, so next Saturday we got SCW and her shirt. The information for that will be shared on the Southland Championship Wrestling's Facebook page as well as it's beyond. Already, it's already out there. It's already out there. Um, and then. Uh, September 17th, we got WrestleTopia, uh, matches, and that will be released, uh, over the next couple weeks. And then, uh, October 8th is, uh, Rockin' Wrestling Hallomania. Is this Rockin' Wrestling again? Yeah. Yes. Cool. I didn't want to promise something that wasn't real. So, <laughs> so, Nisa, we got three shows in the span of the next six weeks. How many are you making? Go, uh, Laksamana. I see you're, you're listening. Call in. Um, if, if, if the, um, I know I'm, I know I'm breaking the fourth wall here, but if the cases are lining up, chances are I might make it to WrestleTopia, and the definite chances are are making it to Hallowmania because I am not missing Hallowmania. Yeah. But I just received a text from Katie Hunter. She says, "You do, you better do your best to." To put Blaze right where it hurts. Yeah, I didn't do too hot last night. <laughs> you remember that. Katie, do ya? Yeah, I remember Katie. Uh, well, see, you can't beat yourself up too much about last night, Hunter, mainly because uh, Paul did it for you. But you know what? They got two guys who attacked you. You know, you, you stood your ground the best you could, but when somebody hits you in the back with a baseball bat, what, what, what are you going to do? You're not Superman, bro. No, I'm not. You're no, not I'm Superman. Not. I got a welt across my back. Oh, I... That I'm not too happy about, so. Yeah. Be- between um, between them messing up your back and what they did to your head a couple weeks, they're not. They're... Yeah, they got they got a lot of, I got a lot of pent up aggression toward, towards Paul. It's not going to be good for Jimmy Blaze. Yeah, Superman Steve says that belt's gonna look good on Blaze. I don't know why fucking Steve doesn't like you, man. I don't know why he's got a hard on for Paul, but he does. Right. Steve, Steve, Steve can I better not. No, oh, go ahead. What do you got to say for Superman Steve? I mean, Superman Steve. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, no, hey, do no, we, no. Should we really give him that that title, Superfan, anymore? I mean, honestly. The only reason I do that is because he uh, because uh, there's Power Hour Steve, and then there's this Steve. I'm a bitter old wrestling fan. I, I, old, yeah. How about how about how about bitter fan Steve? Bitter fancy, cool. Now you're bitter fan Steve, bro. See that? See that? That, too, yeah. that super fan title belongs to me and only well, it belongs to Patrick. It belongs to other people, but Steve, no. Patrick who? You mean the guy who who won my uh my my fan of the year award? Patrick Clausen, I don't remember. Yeah, no, yeah, no. He won my he won my fan of the year award two years ago. Yeah, I'm still not over that. I haven't won, I haven't won that fan of the year award since oh God knows when. <laughs> uh, I was the first fan of the year. No, you won't. was he really? Steve, there's no way Steve was the fan of the year award. He used to like us. Why? Now why loves, did now the... he loves to hate us? So whatever. Hey, I do love us or hate us. Either way, we are the best in the Midwest. Bang! <laughs> so what you're telling me is, bitter fan Steve won this award. Patrick won this award. 
Uh, yeah, Travis, he has yet to win this award. You guys do sound epic, bro. You, guys, you actually got to come to the shows, Travis. I mean, I got the flu. I've been, I've been to, uh, I think I've been to every show this year except for, uh, except for last night. But I am gonna be in her shirt. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Hell, I even, I even go by myself because uh, Dizzle J doesn't okay. uh, hang out with me. You can't win Fan of the Year this year because you're the GM. Yeah, I could win I'm Fan not. of the Year this year. Nope. It's not the High Voltage Awards. It's the SCW Awards. There's always something with you that tries to keep me from winning my shit, isn't there? You keep yourself from winning your shit. Ah, oh, dare you. God, how dare I, you. Hey, Hunter, Hunter I got an idea for a tournament <laughs> and a new title. But I'll tell you some other time. Sounds good. Uh, if Cole wants to call in, feel free to. If not, we may be wrapping this up here in a couple minutes. Then, I want, then, I, then I'll end this for you if, we, if we're going to end this. What do you mean you're going to end this for me? I'm kidding. <laughs> Do you, do you just do you just want to host this the next time I do it? No, I I, I don't have the I don't have the so travesty. To, I know I, I came in a little this. late uh, on the podcast there. I think I did. Did you touch on all the matches last night? Um, let me see. Let me double check. Look at my How'd notes here. How do you like uh, Aaron Xavier and Cobra? I'm glad that that was decided to be the main event. Like I wasn't. I was like, like, look at the match card. I kept thinking, this like, okay, so it's got to be the tag team match that's the main event. It's got to be the tag team match. But then when every match happened but, like, Cobra and Xavier, I was like, you know what? That makes sense. And I'm glad it did because they they, they fucking crushed it. You know? Um, it was it was a... Aaron and Cobra usually do. Yeah. It was a little upsetting to see Aaron get laid out. But uh, you know what? Uh, after uh, after Angel, uh, you know, you know, dropped my name on the Power Hour. You know, I, I'm a little I'm a little sour on the uh, the Evil Gains Evil at the moment. Oh boy. But uh, let's see. Let's recap. Uh, VJ Price won with a Phil Nelson. Uh, Marco uh, beat VIP, which VIP almost took the win there. He just about, couldn't. Uh, Chris Ward and uh, Kid Riot. Chris Ward yeah. seemed to get get over pretty good last night. I was glad to see that. Ward, Ward is definitely a fan favorite. Kid Wright, I have no idea who that is. Yeah, first time he was ever in uh, Southland, so... Yeah. I heard a lot of people chanting Power Ranger. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, I, I guess so, but uh, uh, Ward I love. Even when he was St. Michael before he found like his newfound like, life, uh, I love Ward. I think Chris Ward is... The, the thing that is, I'm trying to figure out now. It's like I always want to try to figure out who's gonna win like the big match. So when you look at the ladder match next next month and all the guys who are in it, you know you think to yourself like, oh well, Eric Xavier has the brains to you know pick up the victory, but Chris Ward has like the the mental you know you know insanity for a ladder. I was gonna say when you're in a ladder match, you almost got to go with the most crazy. Like, yeah, little, when, you know. Right, and and, 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 that's crazy enough to get my name in that. <laughs> and and and, there, and there's two different types of crazy. Like when you look at Koa, Koa looks like he's nutty, but not in like a like a, a twisted nutty. Like he just seems like he's willing to do what it takes to win. But right. Chris Ward has like that that almost cynical kind of like you know lunacy to where he'd be like, I will destroy everybody if it means I take the victory. And I think that's what people love about Chris Ward. He has that edge to him that people love seeing in wrestling. Yeah. So. Oh, he's a really good talent. Yeah, and not only that, he's an SCW guy. He wears the red shirt too. So having him on your side, I think is a huge bonus for SCW. Agreed. Agreed. Right? Hell, I wear the shirt. I wear it on every uh, podcast I, uh, I, I host just because it has my hey, name you. on it. I'm just glad you wear a shirt because if it rains, we have a tent. True that. True that. You can throw it over your car in case uh, the hood won't go up. <laughs> oh, I wear that shirt to uh, work sometimes. I'm like, oh, you got your name on your shirt. I'm like, fuck yeah, I do. Famous. <laughs> Travis T is famous. <laughs> uh, do you know of any matches that have been uh, set up for next Saturday or not yet? Not yet. Okay. Done. 
I do I do know of one match. I apologize for that. It, it is the Workhorses versus DJ and El Dorado. Oh, nice. Okay, awesome. So it gets El Dorado. See, it gets top shelf some work uh, in the tag team division. That's perfect. Correct. Fuck yeah. Plus, Workhorses. I think is is uh, last night the like the debut of the Workhorses in SCW. I'm just trying to remember if they were there before. No, no. It, no. it was their debut, yes. I sorry. They, they, they have never been there before. Gotcha. That is, you know, I can see where Nieser gets the apology thing from. You don't got to say sorry to me, bro. That's just a habit. I'm a, I'm a nice guy. No, that's what it is. I, I'm, I'm a nice guy, too. I wish I, I wish I was a heel, but there's two people that won't allow it. Katie and Nana. For you to be a heel? Nieser, you couldn't be a heel. I think Koa... Koa will be no. There's no matches signed yet, but Koa will be in Hersher. Alliance of Hope will be in Hersher. VIP will be in Hersher. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna be. It looks like a hard card. So it'll be good. Gotcha. Well, I'll stay in touch with uh, SCW. Obviously, uh, we'll um. We'll see if we get the uh, get some of those matches announced on this week's episode because this is going to drop along with our uh, regular show as well. Uh, Hunter, is there anything else you want to cover that we may have missed? I think I think all the matches were covered. Um, yeah, I wanted to make sure we got through all the matches and uh, yeah, you know, just once again, um, the body bag match is actually called the Hell's Rules match. Yeah. Um, I remember that. the now. Hell's Rules match. You got to put your opponent in the body bag. Zip that body bag up all the way. Um, <laughs> there is no winner until it does get zipped up all the way. So, uh, you know, if if you don't like me, come out and see me get put in a body bag. <laughs> I don't know if you want to. But, the last uh, thing I want you want to see so at WrestleTobia. It's gonna it's gonna be an epic night. Uh, I think it's gonna be an epic night simply because Jimmy Plays and Hunter Payne are going in the ring for the first time one on one. Yeah. I got 26 years in. I think he's got 31 years in. Uh, it is crazy to think we've never faced each other, but we never have. And we've been in a lot of the same locker rooms over the years. So. Yeah. Uh, here we go. You know, it's gonna be nuts. Um. Well, the one the one thing I can recommend to you, and uh, clearly. You know, with my expertise in the wrestling business, uh, you know, I take value in what I say. But you're you're in a situation now where you not only have to watch out for Blaze in this match, but also the POW guys who are also going to be in attendance because we have seen firsthand that POW doesn't. So you say something. He has an entourage. He doesn't do anything by himself. So no, never does. Hopefully, you have a discussion with the SCW locker room and let them know that this match needs to be Payne versus Blaze, not Payne versus Pow. Right. So, um, but I'm excited to see it. Like you said, I mean, I, I've known you talk about these matches um, for several several years. You've discussed these uh, Hell's Rules matches, and I'm, I'm sure they're probably online where I can Google it. But there's not; it's not the same as if I can't see it live. Correct. So it's I'm excited. Be pretty brutal. Yeah. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see it. Nisu, you got anything to add? Whatever you do, Hunter, do please do not wind up in the body bag and give Blaze an ass whipping of a lifetime. Because if because you remember that promo I made, put an axe to the max. <laughs> All right. Because Travis, I don't know if you saw that promo, but. Hunter did. Oh boy, it was at splitting targets. Which one? Which promo? For retaliation, I think it was. Uh, maybe. I see. I see a lot of promos <clears throat> over. Uh, over. You know, not a lot. Ones that are done. I see. Over the last few years, I used to see. Uh, you know, when uh, Hunter was with. Uh, when Elite Payne was. I think the first. The first time uh, Lee Payne was SCW Tag Team Champions, and they were managed by uh, Bobby Blues. Um, a lot of promos I've seen there. Like I said, they just got away. You know, just got to get more promos out there. Agreed. Yeah. Like I said, this show, um, everyone involved in that event will, will, will have promos out. So you'll be a lot of promos coming your way. Uh, yeah. I'm going to regret asking this, but, uh, Steve, do you have anything you want to share before we leave? I regret that resentment too. <laughs> 
I just feel, I mean, he, he is technically a co-host of the show, and... Me and uh, co-host? Nah. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, like, I... I JF, I, I want to grow JFW the best we can. And after losing, you know, Dizzle J, I was like, okay, well, I still got Dally, which is perfect. You know, she can help me kind of get, like, some of the input and what happened and what's happening in wrestling, you know, mo- particularly the televised stuff. Uh, Steve, you know, is, you know, a historian or whatever when it comes to, like, older, like, Midwest wrestling, so he could bring, you know, that aspect of it. And obviously adding Nubby kind of helps with seeing the wrestling shows that I can't make that he can make it to and to help kind of promote that stuff as well. Nope, I'll be there to see Hunter get put in a body bag. All right. Dead. Fat chance. <laughs> Fat effing chance. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, at least he got his money. So I guess uh, I guess you take that as a win. Um. But yeah, no, it's 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 just I like uh, Steve. I, I, I zip it up. I'll unzip it. <laughs> Nisi, you're gonna probably have to be out there uh, at ringside to keep uh keep bitter fan Steve away from the match. If, I'll handcuff him to me if he tries. Yeah. Mm. Do it. You know what? You know what? That'll be the stipulation. Mr. Allen, make that official. Both okay. fans, a pal and SCW, handcuff each other. Me and Steve. I like how you think that Terry listens to my show, Nisa. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just, I'll bleed black and red if I have to. Black and red. I just, you know, I, I, I do wish Terry would listen to my show. I gotta get Terry on here. I really gotta talk to him. I gotta, I gotta guess. I gotta figure out what's going through his fucking mind. Um, but Lisa, do you want to help me close this out? This is no. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. It's a yes Sorry, or no I question, think... bro. Sorry. I still, gotta, I still gotta do all the plugs and stuff. I'm asking if you want to help me out. You want? Is that a yes? Yes. How do I close it out? All, when I say that's all I got, all you have to say is time to ring the bell on this episode. All right. Okay. God. All sorry. right. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You know, to be honest with you, everyone else I close with, they also fuck up the close. So don't feel bad about it. All right. Hunter, it's like, I'll. It's like nubby. Hunter's nubby. Team. Go ahead, Who's Nisa. Nubby? Turtle. Oh, Turtle. I just, I just, call, I just call him Nubby because that's how I know him. Yeah, he, he, he screws up the beginning and end all the time because he, you know, I go in and I host, you know, I introduce us, like, I am Travesty, and he wants to give himself like seven different fucking titles. The greatest, oh, yeah. Re- yeah, he's like, I'm the greatest referee and the greatest wrestler and the smartest and the beautiful and, you know, I, I'm not Pizza just, and I'm a turtle and yeah, you know, five foot three is good enough, you know, Calabunga. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how tall he is. This, but this, like, this, this guy has more vanity than me. I, I tell you, I love Nubby though. Like he he was he was there in training with me, and that dude that dude busts his ass, and he under he understands he understands what you know a wrestling company needs help with setting up and shit like that. Love the dude. Yeah. Uh, I'm so glad he's here. I'm so glad Great he. Dude. he so, yeah, I'm so glad he found his way to SCW. Are, are we ready? Are we ready? Let me know we're ready. Are you rushing me now, bro? No. If I put you, you would shove me. <laughs> well, let me do my plugs, and then we'll do that part, okay? Okay, Hunter, nice talking to you, pal. You got it, buddy. <laughs> and please, for me and Katie's sake, do not get in the body bag. Uh, I'm going to try my best not to. <laughs> Guys, make sure you check out my uh, podcast when it's released on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and Podbean, just by searching Just Freak Wrestling, the JFW Podcast. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just by searching Just Freak Wrestling, the JFW Podcast. Of course, thank you to CarterComics.com for being a sponsor of the show. Use the discount code FREAKNET at the uh, checkout. Save 10% on your entire order of Carter Comics at CarterComics.com. And, of course, make sure you go to Audible at AudibleTrial.com slash FREAKNET. You get a 30-day free trial plus a grant to your first book purchase. So now you can get people to read books to you. That way you don't have to worry about your blurry old age eyesight like Hunter Payne has. So... I thought we were friends. Yeah, I, know, I just, I just to that we're friends. I'm not going to lie. That no just came to me. Wings for you, pal. You got to start paying for them. Ah, damn it. See what you just did? God, Hunter Payne is perfect eyesight. 
<laughs> guys make sure you check out uh southland championship wrestling on facebook to get the list of the events that are happening so you can see the uh amazing posters that are made i just want you know just a shout out the, the the girl that you have working for you that creates those pro- posters fucking amazing yeah she's good that, that, like like she needs like, so credit to her no, that, that is our bell girl she designs all of the uh all the flyers uh mm-hmm. James Creed, if you're interested, he he does all the match cards. Yeah, yeah, and not only that, uh, well, you both do great work. If you guys need anyone out there needs to get a hold of them, mm-hmm. I, I can help you guys out with that. So yeah, so shout out to everyone who uh, who makes SCW the way it is. Obviously, all the wrestlers, the uh, people behind the scenes who put everything together, and of course me who talks about it on a weekly basis. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, that's all I got. All right, Trav. Have a good night, bud. You too, sir. Nisha, that's your cue. Talk to you, man. Nisha, One, that's your cue. two, three, ring the bell. Nisha, that's not right. <laughs> How do I do that? I, know, I said, all you have to say is time to ring the bell on this episode. That's all you had to do. I'm, oh, damn it. All right. I'll do it <laughs> next time. Sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it again. You ready? Ready. That's all I got. Time to ring the bell. On this episode. On this episode of <laughs> Just Freaking Wrestling. Lisa, that's not right. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I'm such a uh, dork. I love you, buddy. All right. That's all I got. As always, I am Travis C. And I'm here with the Southland Championship Wrestling guys. Thank you for listening to another episode. I'm just freaking wrestling the JFW podcast.